Now, in response to the shooting, community leaders have come together to announce a new plan to address violence in the metro. Local 5's Carson J.S. Reichardt shows us what they have in store. One person was killed and another two are injured after what's being called Des Moines' fourth homicide of the year. But community members are stepping up with plans to stem the tide. The work didn't just start yesterday. It's been going on and it's been happening, but we can't do it alone. We have to do it together. Tuesday, leaders gathered at Creative Visions in Des Moines to reveal their plan to address the violence. Speakers included legislators such as Representative Akeo Abdul Samad, Isaiah Knox of Urban Dreams, Yvette Muhammad of Creative Visions, and Reverend Rob Johnson. They announced the formation of what they're calling a violence think tank. We're talking about getting out the whiteboards. We're talking about reaching out to other states. We're talking about getting those that are experts. Speakers said that they want the think tank to collaborate with all corners of the Des Moines community to bring systemic change. The cause is especially personal for Abdul Samad, whose son was killed in 1997. When he died, I made the most asinine promise in the world when I was looking at his body on a gurney in Brawlins. I said, you will be the last. Knowing it wasn't true, but that was my hope. One thing separating the think tank from other anti-violence efforts, leaders say they want to work directly with local kids to identify what's drawing them to violence and provide other solutions. They believe their lifespan is short anyway. So if we can make them understand that they, that doesn't have to be their story, they have ears as long as they know that we're sincere. Carson joins us now. Carson, we heard from several organizations that will be a part of the think tank. Who else will be involved? Yeah, Steph, it's not totally pinned down yet, but Representative Akeo Samad told me, Abdul Samad, apologies, that he, they're going to be casting a wide net. He mentioned looking at local businesses like Come and Go or Casey's, pretty much anyone and anyone who is willing to help. And we know there's plenty of work to do, so the more help, the better on this one. Absolutely. Right. Carson, thank you.